Sometimes I wonder, why am I here? I'm just a reflector of the Earth. I'll fly away and everyone will miss me, I'm sure. Hey, get out of the way. Uh, who are you, by the way? I'm the satellite of Mars, Phobos. I take it's your moon. Yeah, the Earth offended me and I left. What are you up to? All right, be quiet. Mars is remembering his youth again and telling us about it. I'm already tired. <sighs> Hello, idiots. Are you talking about me? Of course not, Mars. We wouldn't talk about you without you. Well, then I'll tell you about how I came to be. Oh, I have to leave right away. There's something Damus asks me to do. All right, Mars. I'll listen to you. Tell the story. This happens to me once every month, Moon. I remember how young and beautiful I was. I'm 4.6 billion years old. I appeared because many small objects began to form me. What are the objects? Um, ice and rock mostly. But then scary things started happening. Which ones? Moon, if he tells you now that he had a life on him and so on, let it pass you by. Otherwise, he'll start talking to himself. Shut up, Earth. After 100 million years, oceans of lava started forming on me. By the way, if they were on Earth, he wouldn't be so pompous now. Wow, what happened next? I've lost my life. Oh, I'll get going, be seeing ya. I've lost my life entirely. Something killed it on me. I've evolved as much in 400 million years as the Earth has in 2 billion. Uh, what happened? I don't know. No one knows. The possible options include a Martian nuclear war on me or a collision with a planet. But I was destroyed. <laughs> Mars! Let me! Let me give you a hug! Are you nuts? Go f- Mars, do you remember how we saved the sun when he got cold? <sighs> Can we just sit in silence? You're talking all the time. Can't we just do nothing for a minute? I'm sorry for being rude. But if you say that to me one more time, I will throw you in the sun. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. What were you saying? Remember how we warmed the sun when he got cold? We just leaned on him and he suddenly burst into flames. And then Earth said that our cores should stay warm. But what was she talking about? What are these cores? <laughs> I just heard your conversation and I think I know the answer. Come on, surprise us. Apparently, we're like some kind of berry. Like a peach. When you eat the flesh of a peach, there's a pit inside. This is the core, as I understand it. Well, I guess we're berries indeed. And we have a pit inside of us. But it can be planted anywhere. Oh my god, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why are there so many idiots around me? That's an interesting theory. Yeah. Why don't you just call Earth and she'll explain everything to us? Good thinking. Earth! Earth, 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 we need your help. Hmm, what kind of help? Remember how we warmed the sun? Of course I remember. Who can I forget that? I launched a rocket into the sun. It's so good he doesn't remember that. <laughs> no, Earth. I remember everything. I have a bird because of you. I didn't know we have someone dumber than Mars in our galaxy. To be honest, neither did I. So, this is where we left off. Of course I remember how we ignited the sun. After that, you said about some cores inside us. And that thanks to them, we warmed the sun. What are these cores? Yes, we are really curious about that. Ha! Well, it's simple. We are made of several layers, and we have a kind of a ball inside us. Well, it's about like us, but smaller. So this ball creates heat for our outer layers. It might seem strange to think about it, but it's true. This is somewhat like a pit and a berry. Didn't I tell you guys? Told you, and you didn't believe me. And Mars even calls me an idiot. <laughs> You're partially right. Our cores are different from pets because they are liquid. Just like melted cheese. That's why lava flows from volcanoes on me sometimes. One day it's a berry pet, the next day it's melted cheese. We are not even planets anymore. We are food. Oh, Mars, I told you. Shut your mouth and don't ever open it! <laughs> Earth, you've been standing like this for a while and you look like you've become Mars. Huh? What do you mean? I mean dumb. Just look at him. Hmm. Why isn't the sun cold? Yeah, you see it. <laughs> no, that's because people on me spotted some other planet in space and called it Planet 9. Oh, so it's Pluto. Sometimes a planet and sometimes not. Huh? <laughs> Did somebody call me? Get out of here. <laughs> okay. No, it's not about Pluto. This planet is beyond the Kuiper Belt. People have described it as completely black. At least that's what the pictures they took look like. Wow, I have never thought we have any other planets. 
By the way, we haven't seen exoplanets for a long time. We should visit them. I suggest that we fly to Kuiper Belt right now and look for that planet. Well, okay, I don't mind. Oh, hello, Earth. Hello, Moon. Hello, Saturn. We need to fly to the Kuiper Belt. Where do we go? Oh, you should ask Jupiter. He's over there. Thank you. Hello, Jupiter. Hi, guys. We are flying to the Kuiper Belt. Where is it? Ah, <laughs> you're almost there. This way. Thanks. Oh, I can't wait to get to know Planet Nine. Yeah, I would love to meet her too. I wonder how much longer do I have to fly? Oh. Ah! Who are you? You certainly are not rocks. Stop, stop, stop. We came here to get acquainted with Planet Nine. Yeah, I hope you won't get in our way. Hmm, well, that's me. But who are you? And how did you know about me? The people who live on me found out that you live somewhere here. So the moon and I decided to find out where you are and get acquainted. What a pity you didn't come before. I've been alone all my life. I've never seen anyone but these rocks. Wow, that sounds so sad. At first it is, and after a while, you get used to it. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Okay, we've got acquainted. Now let's go home. Yeah, let's go. What? So soon? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're kidding. We just met, so I think we need to get to know each other better. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't believe you really exist. Well, sometimes I think that I don't exist myself. You know, it's very hard to be alone. There's no one here. Only rocks flying around. Yeah, I have to be more careful. I don't want meteorites to fall on me. And why didn't you try to find somebody? There are other planets out there, for example. Huh. I hadn't really thought of that. Well, we've found you, though we've heard about you just recently. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm glad that for the first time I met someone else. <laughs> what is that? Don't be afraid, these are people. They are our friends. Well, wait. Where did he fly to? He will get lost there. By the way, would you like to come with us and meet the other planets? Huh? Are there many of you? Sometimes eight, sometimes nine. There's a planet that hasn't decided whether he's going to be with us or not. And this planet is crazy. His name is Pluto. Oh, such complicated names. I hope I will remember you. And here I am. I brought someone with me, but he got lost somewhere. Oh, I hope it's one of the planets. Moon was just telling me about them. Oh yes, this planet will definitely surprise you, but I hope you won't get scared. <laughs> well, excuse me for being so scared, I've never seen anybody but myself. What the? Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video, 